Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. I've had another request, so, you know, I like doing the requests, don't I? This one comes from Baratim, Barat Limbu 3870. I think this was the guy that, or, or YouTuber, because you never know the gender, do you, when you just see a name and a funny avatar. Um, what am I thinking? He's the guy that asked me to do the roundabouts last time. And I made the video, Know Your Roundabouts, <laughs> link up here. So he's actually come back to me and said, can you make a video on Castle Hill Interchange Roundabout um, when you come from Church Hill Avenue towards Roundabout? Little bit, little, little a bit confusion over there. <laughs> so I think this is the roundabout that was initially intended. And it's strange because they've put new road markings out and they can be confusing. So what I'm going to do, it's got four approaches, which I number one, two, three, and four. And each of these approaches have four exits of their own, which I'm going to name, or yeah, name A, B, C, D. So we're going to do like I did last time. Approach one with all of its exits, with a little bit of rewinding, then approach two, then approach three, then approach four. I won't show you the interchangey bits because it would make the video too long. So let's get cracking, shall we? Approach number one, exit number one. Because we're going left, we'll take the left-hand lane. It's actually marked M20 Folkestone which technically means if you're going straight on or onto the motorway or turning left, you use this lane. The easiest of all of them. <laughs> right, let's rewind and do the next exit. Approach number two, exit B. I forgot I was doing A, B, C and D, wasn't I? So approach number two, exit B, is the M20. So stay in this lane, go straight across, indicate off the roundabout. Nothing to my right. Staying in this lane. It had M20 on both sides, so you could have approached it on the outside lane. But it gets us onto the motorway, so let's rewind and do exit C on approach one. Approach number one then, third exit. So the first one went to Folkestone, second one went down the motorway. Now we're going to go up over the flyover. So we're getting the right hand lane, it's marked A20 in the road. I'm not indicating right because I'm kind of going straight across, but I will indicate off. That gets us over the A20. Let's rewind and take the last exit for approach number one. Approach number one, final exit, basically all the way around. So on the right hand lane, I'm going to indicate right and then I'll indicate off the roundabout. This is because you've just left the supermarket but then you realised you'd forgotten something, so you've got to go back. <laughs> Indicate off. That's all of approach number one. Let's tackle approach number two, see what it brings us. Right, approach number two. First exit is the motorway. I can take two options, but I'm going to stay in this lane. Don't need to indicate because I'm on this lane. And it just filters onto the motorway. I could have taken that next exit there, but I'm not actually going to use that one in this example. And it gets us onto the motorway. So let's rewind, do exit number two on approach number two. Approach number two, exit B. A was the motorway, so I'm going up over the bridge. 
So into this lane. Now this is where I was talking about before that I could go on the motorway by taking an immediate left there. But um, I've done that section by going on the slip road. So we'll indicate off the roundabout, unlike the Land Rover who didn't. Right, let's rewind and take the next exit on that approach. Approach number two, exit number three, basically heading towards Park Farm. So I shall get in the right hand lane here, indicating right. Does anyone behind me know what I'm doing? We'll use the inside lane to go around and then indicate off. Right, let's rewind and do the last exit on approach two which is all the way around. Approach number two and exit number four, all the way around. Right hand lane and indicators on all the time. I'm indicating right and then I'm coming off so I'll change the indicators then. Car to my right. All clear. indicate off. That was all of junction number two or approach number two. Let's do number three. Now we do approach number three, exit number one. Stay in this lane. It's got chevrons and everything because they've done new road markings. Exit number one is technically straight across because we can't turn up there. easy wasn't it let's rewind and do exit number two approach number three exit B is Folkestone going down Cherry Garden Avenue so in the right hand lane indicating right because I'm taking the technically third exit but the first exit is just an approach road isn't it the cars coming from my right Clear. Keep in my lane and then cross over the lane when I pass this junction here. Indicating off the roundabout. Easy peasy. Right, let's rewind and do exit C. Approach number three, exit C. This is going on to the motorway, so we're technically going all the way around, but not a full circle. So we're staying in this lane. Nothing to my right. All the way around and then we'll come off for the motorway. Checking my mirrors, make sure no one's charging in on the left. Right, let's rewind and do the last exit, which is basically coming back on ourselves. Approach number three, exit D. So basically all the way around, coming back on ourselves. Not sure why you would do this, but we've got to cover all bases. Nothing from the right. Keeping my indicators on all the way around the roundabout. And then we'll come back off on the Castle Hill approach bridge. Excellent. Let's go and do Approach number four. Hmm. Approach number four then. We're coming out of the Round Hill Tunnels, down over the, um, what is this, a slipway highway? And we'll join the slip road off the A20. Now the roundabout has got two lanes and basically left-hand lane for left-hand turn and straight across, although you can use the right-hand lane to go straight across as well. However, that gets a bit of friction going, you know, especially if cars are, you know, jostling for their positions. 
but we approach the roundabout with indicators on because we're turning left. Nothing to my right, and we slip off the roundabout. Right, let's rewind and do exit B. Was it D? They're all back to front. Right, coming out of Round Hill Tunnels again, we'll slip off the A20, approach number four, exit number two, which takes us down Cherry Garden Avenue into Folkestone. So, we're basically straight across the roundabout. I'm going to use the left-hand lane, because that's the etiquette that I've kind of always adopted, and I think it's always drilled in my mind. Roundabouts, left hand or straight across, use the left lane. Any other exits, use the right hand lane. Just seems a logical thing to do. No indicators approaching because I'm not turning left immediately and I'm not going right. But I'm coming off. She didn't indicate, much to my despair. Why don't people indicate? I assumed she was going straight on. Right, let's rewind to do exit number three off junction number four. Okay, so approach number four again. Off the A20 onto the slip road, we're going to take the third exit, which takes us back onto the motorway. Technically, I could carry on. <laughs> come off so that we can go on again. Um, why would you do such a thing? Not for me to judge, but it's excellent for this video. So I'm going to stay in the right hand lane because I'm taking the third exit off the roundabout. I don't want to be taking the third exit from the left hand lane. Indicator's on so the car behind me knows what my intentions are. There's a car to my right. There's a couple of cars to my right now. Right, here we go. Stay in the right hand lane to go round. And then indicate off. That gets us onto the motorway. Let's rewind and take the last exit on approach number four. And so finally, approach number four, exit number four. This is going to take us over the dual carriageway. So basically all the way around to the round. I can't do a complete route or turn of the roundabout because approach four is an exit only, so you can't come back onto it. But we can go round and up over the bridge, so and it'll be a good place to stop because I can pull in at the back. So. Again, right hand lane off the slip road. So indicators on. A couple of motorbikes coming up behind me. And it will be a case of waiting for a convenient gap. Into the right hand lane. And we'll indicate off after we pass the M20 junction or exit. That's the one. Can't go back up on there, it's so no entry. Well, that was Spider-Man then on the um, motorbike, had a lumberjack jacket. Right, I'm going to go over here and pull up. They've put all these new road markings on this roundabout and it's superfluous, is that the word we can use? People just don't, I don't know how they plan these things, I really don't. Okie dokes, so that was Know Your Roundabouts number two. That's what I'm gonna call it. So if I do any other roundabout videos, we'll just increment the number accordingly. <laughs> um, what can I say, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that, but it took me an hour at least to do. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I, d I have all the footage, but I'm not gonna bore you with all of that. <laughs> So thanks for the suggestion. I think I've covered that roundabout exactly as I needed to. If I missed any, it's because I, I, you know, I can't take notes while I'm driving. So I think I need a coffee now. I'm going to go over and get myself a coffee and 
Um, yeah, if you want to support the channel, I have a buy me a coffee link. It's in the description. So for now, thanks for watching. I'm Baron with, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Drive with care. Thank you.